टू क्लोरो थ्री मिथाइल पेंटेन Done both of you. So no, Rifat and Zain. Yes, I just ending. What about you, Rifat? Um, sir, I'm done, but I have to send it through my dad. Send. Oh, okay, fine. By the way, you can save Lernivio's number and sending it if you want it. Okay, so this is Lernivio's number, office number. You can put it here. Yes, uh, okay, fine, correct. That these are right answers. Waiting for your answer, Rupert. Yes, sir, the number you send doesn't have a WhatsApp. Doesn't have WhatsApp? It, is. it has only IM. So, no, no, it has WhatsApp. 
it has whatsapp maybe just to wait a second like for a few seconds and it will be loading in your whatsapp you have also run plus 91 right yes it will come up don't worry it will come up on the whatsapp डन रिफत आया आपको कॉन्टैक्ट में नहीं आया नहीं आया अच्छा ठीक सो द फर्स्ट स्ट्रक्चर टू क्लोरो मिथाइल थ्री मिथाइल पेंटिंग सो इन ऑर्डर टू राइट द स्ट्रक्चर द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू विल बी डूइंग इज टू राइट द नंबर वन इज द मेन चेन ऑफ द पेरेंट वेन एवर यू आर गोइंग फ्रॉम name to structure you will draw the main chain or the parent so we'll draw the parent first of all that is pentane that means five carbon atoms so 1 2 3 4 5 right 1 2 3 4 5 carbon atoms and it is saying in the second position we have chloro second position will have chloro and third position we will have methyl that means there will be a ch3 group here in this is it the same structure yes or no please tell me refer yes yes okay Next B is one chloro four ethyl cyclohexane. This is another easy one. Cyclohexane we will draw first because that is the main chain or the parent. And now we have one chloro. In the first position we have chloro. Fourth position what do we have? We have ethyl. That means we have CH two CH three. Next is four tertiary butyl three iodo heptane. So first of all we will draw heptane. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So here we have heptane, and what it is saying? What do we have? What are the substituents that we have here? We have four tertiary butyl. In the fourth position we have tertiary butyl. In the third position we have iodo. So four, and then we have in the third position iodo. Two, three. I do. In the fourth position, we have tertiary butyl. The tertiary butyl is carbon, which is further connected to three more carbon atoms: CH three, CH three, CH three. Is this this is A, B, and C? Is the C one correct? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Yes. Okay. Next, what do we have? Uh, one comma four dibromobutene. So let me draw it here only. First, we'll draw but two in right. So but that means four carbon atoms, one, two, three, and four carbon atoms. Second one has a double bond, and then we have one. First position is br. This fourth position also we have br. So this is one comma four dibromo butene. Is this clear? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Okay. The last one is one bromo four secondary butyl. Two methyl benzene. That means first of all we'll make a benzene, and then we will put up the substituent. We have one bromo. So we put bromine here, and two is methyl. Is three, and then we have in the fourth position secondary butyl. So in secondary butyl we will have like this. One, two, three, four carbon, and the benzene is connected to the secondary carbon. That is secondary butyl group. So there are many butyl groups. First is the normal butyl. So those normal butyl is like this. You can draw normal butyl like this. And then you have this is the point of attachment. Okay, any other group will be attached from here. If there is a secondary butyl, then also you will have the same thing. This is the butyl, but the point of attachment will be here. Okay, this is my. Secondary butyl. Now tertiary butyl will have. We have drawn tertiary. Now this is a lower tertiary butyl. Tertiary butyl will look something like this. Carbon with three other carbons. 
Okay, and the point of attachment is this carbon atom, the middle one. Any other group will be attached from this carbon atom. Is this clear? Yes or no? Please tell me. This one is normal N butyl. This is secondary butyl, and this is tertiary butyl. ठीक है चल now in the next question you just have to identify whether something is alkyl allyl benzyl vinyl or aryl halide okay so you may try this and if you don't get any one of this then we will discuss in our next class okay now let us start our class and continue with the iupac nomenclature okay continue with the iupac nomenclature write a question draw the structure of draw the structure of following okay so please write number 1 neopentyl bromide okay neopentyl bromide now this is as you can see this is what it is a common name it is not an iupac name that is why you have to remember the structure neo of neopentyl a neopentyl will have five carbon atoms but they are arranged in such a manner that you have a situation like this ch3 ch3 and then there you have ch2 and as you can see this is how many carbons this is five carbon and this is neopentyl and then this ch2 is further connected to vr okay this current ch2 is further connected to vr Now this portion from here to here it is neopentyl. This is bromide. Okay. Now because the chemical literature that is written, it has many structure which are generally named by its common name and not its i not its iupac name. Hence we have to remember a few common names also. Okay. So this is neopentyl bromide. Is this clear? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Yes. Right. Second. secondary butyl or sec butyl chloride now secondary butyl we all know what is secondary butyl secondary butyl will have structure like this right 1 2 3 and what will be the point of attachment point of attachment will be this one this carbon atom secondary carbon this carbon atom right now what should be attached here chloride will be attached here so we'll write just a bond and chlorine is this clear yes or no please tell me yes the right c three bromo two methyl prop 1e okay three bromo two methyl prop 1e now this is an iupac nomen name that is why we will use this first of all the parent that means prop so we'll make a three carbon chain like this so one two three carbon and then it is saying in the first carbon we have a double bond so we'll draw a double bond after that it is saying in the third carbon we have bromo so the third carbon will have a bromo like this br and the second carbon is having a methyl that is top of ch3 group okay acha by the way both of you are comfortable with the bond line structure that i am drawing this yes or no tell yes. me refat what about you yes okay fine now let us look at the now let us look at the nomenclature involving benzene ring okay nomenclature involving benzene ring is everyone done yes or no please tell me yes nomenclature of aryl halide nomenclature of aryl halide now since that you were not present in the last class there is a way of writing nomenclature of each and every compound now the iupac name of everything it contains it may contain substituent okay 
okay and after that we name the parent and after that we name the unsaturation and then at the end we write the function group hai na then we have functional group okay so maybe if you will refer to yesterday's lecture it will be better for you so yesterday we discussed this nomenclature of how to do and using uh, this method substituent parent and saturation functional group okay but as of now you just need to know that for benzenes for benzene whenever you see a benzene this pus okay all of this it boils down to one word it all boils down to one word that is benzene that means it is going to end with what it is going to end with benzene and then you will look at the substituent whatever is present and then you will write the name of the substituent okay then you will write the name of substituent so you will understand better if i give you an example if i give you an example okay yes so let us write the see my structure we have a benzene ring like this okay and uh, let us say we have here a ch3 group and here we have a br group okay now this is parent unsaturation and functional group that is puf so i will write for puf what do we have to write puf is what benzene always when there is a benzene the puf that means the parent unsaturated and functional group it will it will always be benzene now this is done benzene is done whatever remains tell me csp and br mm -hmm. we have to name it hai na so these are substituent anything that remains after the identification of parent and saturation functional group is known as substituent now what are the substituent we have bromo and what do we have methyl correct yes okay now we can number either of them one and two but whenever there is a choice we will number the one number the substituent which is coming earlier in the alphabetical order okay so we'll start numbering from there so you tell me which one is coming before bromo. bromo right so bromo is coming before so what we will write here bromo will be given the number 1 methyl ah uh, two methyl benzene one bromo two methyl refat aapko aa raha hai sanu please tell me yes okay two methyl benzene is this clear sanu please tell me yes अब देखिए एक चीज आप ध्यान रखिएगा अराइज हलाइज है ना अच्छा इफ आई राइट अ स्ट्रक्चर लाइक दिस इज दिस अराइल हलाइज ये सर नो प्लीज मी यस सर श्रीफत व्हाट डू यू थिंक इज दिस अराइल हलाइज यस ओके कैन यू रीड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अराइल हलाइज प्लीज Prefer after vinyl, we did aryl halide. Um, halogen atom connected to benzene ring. So, is the oh. halogen atom connected to benzene ring? Prefer no. Ah, so is this okay? So, what it is connected to? This carbon is what? Is this sp two, sp three, or sp? Sp two. This carbon is what? Sp three. Sp three. Sp three, right? Yes. So this is what this is a halo alkene. Refer to Z. This is clear. Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes, sir. Anna, this is benzyl halide. It is not a aryl halide. This is a benzyl halide. How are we going to name this? So we will name it in this manner. We have only one CH two group. That means we have one group here, and there are two substituent. Okay. So for this, the parent will be. It is not aryl halide. That is why. Not. Let us not start with parent. Rather, we will start with functional group. अब देखिए ज्यादा आप कल नहीं आए थे अब कुछ शायद ये चीज नहीं आए लेकिन प्लीज वॉच इलेक्ट्रिक यूल अंडरस्टैंड इट ओके सो फंक्शनल ग्रुप विल बी ई देन वी विल हैव अनसैचुरेशन अनसैचुरेशन विल बी ए एन बिकॉज दिस पर्टिकुलर कार्बन आइटम इट डज नॉट हैव एनी डबल बॉन्ड और ट्रिपल बॉन्ड देन वी हैव पेरेंट पेरेंट इज गोइंग टू बी पेरेंट इज गोइंग टू बी मेथ एंड देन सब्सिक्वेंट तो सब्सिक्वेंट विल बी वन इज क्लोरो And the other substituent is phenyl. Okay, so this will be named as one phenyl or no, one chloro because C comes earlier. One chloro, one phenyl, methane. Okay, this is one of the name. 
the other name that you can write about this the other name that you can write is this is a benzene ring you can write it uh, with respect to benzene ring also and this is chloromethane right so this is will be this is chloromethane or chloromethyl one chloro methyl benzene but prefer this name and crt prefers this name please write this down let me know when you're done say it Yes. Now, once once what happened? Uh, the CBSC board it gave a very weird example. Please write this one. So you have one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then it was here. There I have chlorine. Okay. So, yeah. Now, when we have to name this, you have to see that we have a aryl halide here. We have aryl halide here, but this line that we have. it has how many carbon atoms it has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 now since we have eight carbon atoms here that means this is going to be our main chain not the benzene one so in this case what you will write you will write the functional group now this is not, this is not a case in which we will be considering the aryl halide we will be considering this as a normal alkene which has some substituent here which has some substituent here okay now what will be our functional group in this case since we have we don't have any functional group in this chain we will write this as e then with the unsaturation now uh, since all of these carbons are single bond there is no double or triple bond this will be an then the parent will be oct because we have eight carbon atoms and then there will be a substituent there will be a substituent now the substituent will be this whole thing with the benzene and the chlorine so as you can see this chlorine is what this chlorine is present in the second position right So this will be two chloro phenyl. Okay, two chloro phenyl. This is our substituent, and this substituent is on the second carbon. This chlorine is in the second carbon. That is why this is two chloro phenyl. And now this whole functional, this whole substituent, it is in the second carbon, and hence we will write a two here also. Now, if you see the name, the name will be. Two. There will be two chloro phenyl octane. Tell you, please write this down. Let me know when you are done. Sir, done. All of you, yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Okay, fine. Now. See, we will be always coming across some uh, nomenclature or some structure, so this will be going on. But now let us start. Now let us start to do what? Now let us start to write the method of preparation. So please write methods of preparation of haloalkene and haloene. Method of preparation. Okay, method of preparation. Okay. So the first first method of preparation that we are going to do is from alcohols. Number one. From alcohols. Okay. From alcohols. Should we start? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes, sir. Now, as we know, alcohols can be written as R O H. Okay. 
it can be written as RO. That means we have a ROH bond, and then we need to replace this OH with any halogen atom. Yes or no, please tell me. Yes. Okay. Now, as all of you can, see, as all, both of you can see that here, this ROH, if this bond will break, then oxygen is more electronegative, and R, that is, R is what? R is a carbon atom, less electronegative. This will be having a delta positive, and this will be having delta negative. That means whenever the bond is going to break, it will be getting giving me R positive, and then there should be an X negative, which should be attacking on the R positive. Okay. So now we'll look at some of the reactions that make some reagents that make alcohols. They convert it to what? They convert it to haloalkenes. So first of all, right, number one. Using HI, simple hydrogen iodide. Simple what? Simple hydrogen iodide. Now in this case, what happens? When alcohols are treated with HI, they form iodo they form iodo alkane is this clear yes or no please tell me yes. so reaction will be roh plus hi it is going to give me ri and as you can see hi from hi what will happen h plus and i negative will be getting and then what happens this oh it attacks on the h plus ion and then it becomes R O H two. Now, as you can see, R O H two there will be positive charge because it has rotated an electron. This bond will break and it will form R positive plus H two O. Then this R positive will be attacked with I negative, and we will be getting R I, and the H two has been formed already plus H two O. Okay, so I will write the mechanism. Don't worry. Is this clear? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Right mechanism. Now the first step will be: we have here electron source. That means there is a electron density more. There is more electron density on the oxygen. It will attack on the hydrogen because. Hydrogen is having delta positive charge, and this iodine is having delta negative charge, and then it will lead to the formation of R, an oxygen bonded to two hydrogen atoms, giving it up a positive charge, and plus there is an I negative always, right? There is I negative. Now this water molecule will lead, leading to the formation of R positive, and this I negative will attack here, and then you will be getting R I. Plus H two O that has been formed from here. Now please write this down. Let me know when you're done. Sir, done. Yeah. Okay. Write the major products. Write the product for these. Acha, Rifat, can you please check your phone? For number, acha, number, ek bar aap please check kar lijiye na, Rifat, if you are uh, copied the same number or not. But I think it should be there on Learn India. Uh, sorry, in WhatsApp. Write the products and send it to WhatsApp. Okay. On Learn India's number.
No, still I am. Sorry, Vipat, still not there? No. Take my number then. Try saving this and sending it here. I think I got Zats. Bond size se banayi hai. Ab second wale mein Zats hai na? Hai na? If this number is also not showing up in her WhatsApp. Sir, it's not showing up. Uh -huh. So, you can't see WhatsApp. 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 आया नहीं आया सर मैं फिर से नंबर डाल दूँ But check your answer. I'm writing the answers here. These are correct. Yes or no, please tell me. Yes. No, no. You are asking the right answer. You are looking at it. Yes, sir. I just did the first one, the second one. The second one, you are not doing. ये सेफत आया नहीं आया आई गॉट द आंसर हां यू गॉट द आंसर लेकिन व्हाट्सएप में नहीं आया नहीं आपका आईएमओ मिला आईएमओ मिल रहा है बस आपको Okay, so let us do another preparation. We have done from alcohols. First is using HI. Right, right. Next, using what did we use? Green. No, why don't we? B.
एच सी एल इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ जेड एन सी एल टू ओके दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट प्लीज राइट यू वेन एल्कोहॉल्स आर नॉट ट्रीटेड विथ एच सी एल इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ Zn Cl2, anhydrous. Ah, that right, anhydrous also. Anhydrous Zn Cl2. Then they form. chloro alkenes then they form chloro alkenes so the reaction will be roh plus hcl the presence of zn cl2 is going to give me r cl further you will get again h2o this zn cl2 is used as a catalyst So this is known as Lucas reagent, yeah. Yeah, this HCl plus anhydrous Zn Cl two is known as Lucas reagent. It is used to test for the primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. Also, we'll write those things also. Then yes or no, please tell me. Yes. What about you, Rifat? Done. Yes. Okay. Now, let us write a note here. HCl and hydrogen in Cl two is known as. Lucas reagent. It is used to test, or rather, I should write to distinguish between primary. secondary and tertiary alcohols it is used to test between primary secondary and tertiary alcohols okay now first thing is if we have primary alcohol and you use the lucas reagent that is hcl the presence of anhydrous zn cl2 so you will get a white ppt okay you will get a white ppt but this requires heating so but we consider it like a no reaction here yeah? ah because at room temperature there will be no no reaction that yes. is why i am writing required heat if you heat it then only this reaction will happen otherwise there will be no reaction okay, okay. Yes. i mean but if there is no reaction then you can't even know na whether it is primary you cannot say it is primary alcohol correct yes. if there is no that means it can be anything if it is not giving me any reaction it can be anything then what do we do we heat it and even after heating if it is not giving me anything then we will say that it is not even alcohol but if, after heating if it is giving me white ppt that means it is what it is primary alcohol they yes. write secondary alcohol
the same reagent again it will give me white ppt okay now it requires some time it requires time okay so if you wait for a few minutes depending on the room temperature what is the temperature you will get a white ppt is that you are seeing something yes you are seeing something uh so it takes 5 to 10 minutes ha huh, 5 to 10 minutes then write the last one that is tertiary alcohol use the same thing there will be white ppt this will be immediately okay so within some seconds and minutes you will get this white ppt रिमार्क just give me some minutes ana let the azan complete then we will start again oops Okay, so we have done. Uh, we have seen three reagents. Okay, in which HI, HCl, HBr. These are similar reagent in which we are using hydrogen halides. Hydrogen halides are what? You have hydrogen, and there you have a halide here. Okay, so all of these are examples of hydrogen halide. 
Okay. Now the write the next reaction that is important one. Reaction with thionyl chloride. Yes, please say. When alcohols are treated with thionyl chloride. It forms alkyl chloride HCl and sulfur dioxide. So these are the three products that are formed. The okay, sulfur dioxide. So what is the reaction? The reaction you can write it as ROH plus SOCl2 is giving me R. Cl plus HCl. This will be a gas. And SO2, this will be also a gas. Please write this down. Let me know when you're done. Sir. Done? Okay. Now write a note here. It is preferred. to use ionyl chloride SOCl2 for the preparation of alkenes. for the preparation of alkenes as the byproduct HCl and SO2 are gases and they escape and they escape due to which no separation is needed. Okay, so this is very important has been asked many times why thionyl chloride is preferred for the preparation of alkaline because SO2 and HCl, these are what? These are gases product and they are escapable and that is why you will get pure alkyl halide. You will get no separation is needed and we get, we get pure alkyl halides. Okay. What about others? Done. Refer then as you done. Refer, are you done? Yes. All right, next. So we have done with P. Now. In the D case, we will see that we will see that we can use several reagents, several phosphorus-based reagents in order to in order to prepare haloalkanes. Okay, in order to prepare haloalkane. So you will write using phosphorus-based Phosphorus based reagents. Okay. So for this, you will write the reaction in this ROH Okay. When you have ROH and it gets treated with PCL3. So what it will be forming? It will be forming RCL. 
plus it will be forming H3PO3. Okay, similarly, if you treat this with PBr3, you will be forming RBr plus again what same thing as 3 PO3. You can also use rather than using phosphorus chloride and phosphorus bromide, what you can use, you can use red phosphorus plus X2 plus what? Plus X2. Okay. And in this case, what you will be forming, you will be forming Rx. In this case, you will be forming Rx. Is this clear, Esono? Please tell me. Yes. Yes. Now you have to remember this X can be what? This X can be either Br or it will be iodine. Okay. So it can be either Br2 or it will be, it will be either Br2 or I2. Furthermore, you can use what? PCL5. Now again, here, what we will be getting, tell me. Here also, we will be getting the same thing. R, C, L. But the byproducts here, they will be PO, C, L, 3 and H, C, L. PO, C, L, 3 plus H, C, L. So these are the four phosphorus-based reagents which we can use. Write this down. Let me know when you're done. Certainly. Done. Right, E. Now, in the fifth part, we will be using NABR. Okay, we'll be using NABR. Using NABR in presence of. H2SO4. So please write. When alcohols are treated with NABR in the presence of H2SO4, you will write here HBR is formed in C2. which leads to formation of alkyl lights, which leads to formation of alkyl halide. Okay, that means what are the reagents? We have ROH plus NABR plus H2SO4. NABR and H2SO4, they will combine together, they will form HBR. Okay. And when HBR is formed, what is remaining? So you will be remaining with NAHSO4. You will be remaining. So you have to do something RBR plus NAHSO4. And then what remains? Water remains. Yeah. H2O. H2O. All of you done, yes or no, please tell me. Yes. Yes. What about Zan? Yes. Okay. Now, write a note. The above reactions. Are not used. for the preparation of haloarenes. For the preparation of haloarenes, because
CR OH bond in phenols have partial double bond character. Which are difficult to break. Okay. So as you can see, when you have phenol, this bond here, it has a partial double bond character due to resonance. And that is why this breaking of bond is difficult. This is strong bond. Okay, this is a strong bond. And that is why whatever reagent we are using in order to, to get haloalkene, or oh, sorry, haloarene in this case, that will not work because the OH bond is it is strong bond and you have to break this in order to prepare a halory. Okay. But this bond cannot be broken. Is this clear? Yes or no? Ripat and Zayn? Yes. Okay. All of you. Now let us move on to the next part that is from hydrocarbon. From hydrocarbon. You also write one more point here. The rate of reaction of alcohols with halo acids. Halo acid means SBR, HCl, HI, and all of these halo acid is that three degree alcohols, they will react the fastest, followed by two degree alcohols, followed by one degree alcohol, and then followed by methane alcohol. Okay. Also write one more point. Benzyl alcohols also give fast positive Lucas test. If you remember benzyl alcohol, benzyl alcohol will be benzene ring CH2 OH. Huh? So this is the benzyl group and then we have an OH group. Now, if I break this OH bond in the presence of ZnCl2, that is the work of ZnCl2, it abstract the OH bond, you will get the carbocation which is CH2 positive. Right. And as you can see, this is a very stable carbocation because it is resonance stabilized. Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. You know? And then what will happen? Easily, chlorine will attack here and you will get CL. Right. So even though benzyl alcohol, it is what? It is a it is a what? Tell me. It is one degree, but it is still giving me a positive Lucas test. Also, one more thing you can write. Benzyl, you will also write allyl alcohols. Allyl alcohols are CH3 to CH2, CH, CH2, Cl. The presence of Z and Cl2, what will happen? This chlorine will be up, sorry. OH will be here, allyl alcohol is there, no? allyl alcohol. OH will be abstracted and you will be getting CH2, double bond CH, single bond CH2, I'm positive. Now this is also what resonance stabilized and further reacted with Cl negative, will be giving me CH2, double bond CH, single bond CH2, Cl. 
Okay, so right, these two points are important. Whether you are having a primary alcohol, but still you are getting a positive Lucas test. Is this clear? Is it okay, Sulmi? Yes. Okay. Is that clear? Are these two points? Yes. Okay. Write the next method of preparation from hydrocarbon. Uh, so in the above reaction, you wrote Cl. Yeah, here, right? Yes. Ah, so Cl negative to hoga na. Cl negative. H Cl se aara na. Hmm. So H Cl me apka sa H positive hoga, Cl negative hoga. Okay. Got it. So yes. rather than writing H Cl, you can also write Cl negative because. Those are strong electrolyte, and eventually in the aqueous phase, like in the liquid state, you will get it as H plus and Cl. So from hydrocarbon, right? A by three radical. By three radical halogenation. Then all of you yes or no? Wrote the topic? Yes. Yes. Is right. Treatment of alkenes. With chlorine. Or bromine. In the presence of. Light. Okay, I am writing a point here. Helper. I will explain what is this helper. Okay, in the presence of light, what does it do? It gives a complex mixture of. It gives a complex mixture of. complex mixture of isomeric mono and poly halo alkenes which are difficult to Which are difficult to separate. Please write this down. Let me know when you're done. So then, done. A free radical halogenation. So, for what is this helper here? What is this helper? Let me tell you what so is this helper. Like. Mm hmm. Are you saying something there? Uh, so you will like? No, helper, it has a meaning. You can either use heat, you can or use electricity. You can use light or you can use a peroxide. Okay, so if you use any of these, it will give you a free radical. <coughs> but in the case of, but in the case of alkenes, we use sunlight or light. Now sunlight it has some UV rays, so you can also write UV rays or sunlight anything. Okay, so heat and sunlight or UV light these are the most prominent sources of free radical. Formation most most important sources okay heat and light so this is helper that means when you treat alkenes with chlorine and bromine with chlorine or bromine and in the presence of what in the presence of light or heat 
then it is going to give you a complex mixture of isomeric mono or polyhaloalkene which are difficult to see we'll see what is isomeric mono mono and polyhaloalkenes but write this down first done now all of you done yes or no please tell me yes okay i'll start with a simple case i'll start with a simple case where we have CH4 that's methane, and I am treating this with Br2. Let us say in the presence of sunlight or UV light. So I will write it as H nu. H nu means what? H nu means energy. Okay. So whenever it, <coughs> whenever H nu is written, that means you will consider this as light. Now it is going to give me CH3Cl. Okay, CH3Cl plus you will be getting HBr. Plus what we will be getting, we will be getting HBr. Now, HBr is not much of our importance. But further on what we can see, that this CH3Cl, it can further react with, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. CH3Br will be there, my bad, I have written Br here. If I further react this with Br2, there will be some Br left in the container, then this Br2 will again react with CH3Br and you will be getting CH2, Br and one more Br. But there will be, if there are some more Br2 left, then what is going to happen? You will be getting Br3 CH. If there are more remaining, then what you will be getting? CBr4. So as you can see, you are getting a monohaloalkene as well as a di, as well as a tri, as well as a tetrahaloalkene. That means mono and polyhaloalkenes you are getting in treatment with in treatment with chlorine and chromine in the presence of light. Okay. Now things get very complex. <coughs> if you have more carbon atoms, for example, CS3 and CS3 is present. And we are having Br2 in the presence of H nu. Now what can happen? You can form a simple CS3, CH2 Br. Okay. But again, you must know that if one of the CS3, CH2, Br is formed, the first molecule of CS3, CH2, Br is formed, there will be some Br2 remaining, right? There will be some unreacted Br2. This will react with this again, and you will be getting Br, CH2, CH2, Br, right? Furthermore, you can replace many number of all the hydrogen atoms, and for the reaction, if you keep doing it, you will be getting CBr3. And CBr. Okay. Rifat and Zad, you are understanding what is happening here. Yes, or no? Yes, tell me. Rifat, what about you? Okay. Now let us see another case. CS3, CS2. CS3 plus Br2 in the presence of H. In this case, also what you will be forming, you will be forming multiple number of haloalkenes. And so, what are the monohaloalkenes you can form? The monohaloalkenes you can form will be CS3, CH2, CH2 Br plus CS3, CH, CH2, and then Br here. And as you can see, there are two different kinds of carbons. This carbon and this carbon, these two are different carbon, and this carbon is again same as the third carbon. The first carbon and the third carbon are same. That is why we are just getting two monohaloalkenes. So how many products we are getting? We are getting two monohaloalkenes. Now, in the first case, the Br is in the first carbon. Excuse me. And this second case, we have Br in the second carbon atom. Is this clear? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Okay. So I should write a question.
identify all possible. Mono halo alkenes. <coughs> that can be formed by CS3 hole twice, CH, CH2, CS3. Okay. First of all, we will draw this. So in order to draw this, what you have to do, you have to draw the non-bracket one first. So you'll write carbon, carbon, and carbon. As you can see, the rest of them, they don't have any other, any other substrate. So you can write CH2, CS3. Now this carbon has two CS3 group like this. You can write like this. All of you can. Now tell me one, yes. how many types of carbon atoms are here? Tell me, Rifat and Azar, please tell me in the chat. Uh, so can you please attach uh, bromine or chlorine group? Bromine or chlorine? Yes. Why? You can say it from here only, na? Yes. Tell me. Look at the CS3. Okay. Now this CH3 is connected to what? So when you have it is connected to CH2. Rifat, yes or no? Tell me. Yes. Rifat and Zan. Okay. Now, do we have any other CS3 here? Yes or no? Tell me. Yes. Do we have any other CS3? No. Uh, so yes, no. sir. Two are there. CS3. No. This CS3 and this CS3 are there, but these CS3 are connected to what? CH. Right? That means these CS3 are different than the first CS3. Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Yes. Right? So we will say that. Okay, fine. This is one CS3. Okay, now when we look at this CS3 and this CS3, both of these are same? <coughs> no. Yes or no? Because no, these are no, not same. Yes, 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 they are same. How will you say they are same? Because they are connected to the same carbon. Yes or no? Yes. yes. And everything about this, they, you have to see the environment. What you have to see? You have to see the environment of carbon. Okay. So it is CS3. That means it is fine. Then you will look. Then it is connected to the which carbon? Then it is connected to which carbon? As you can see, if I start with this carbon, it is connected to CH. And this is connected to CH2. It is connected to CS3. Same thing. Starting with CS3, it is connected to CH. Then it is connected to CH2. Then it is connected to CS3. So each and everything about this environment of the above carbon and the below carbon are same. That is, I will say that, okay, fine. This is the second carbon. We have the second carbon. Okay, do we have any carbon which is CH other than this one? Yes. Yes? No, Where sir. is that? Okay, you will answer the question. Then again, we will say that this is a unique carbon. So this is the third carbon, which is unique. Do we have any other carbon, which is CH2? No, sir. No. no. Then again, this is also a unique carbon. Four and then, sorry, third and fourth. Okay. Now, if I attach, if I remove the hydrogen from the first carbon atom, and if I, if I add a halogen atom, then I will be getting, please see here, CS3, CH, CS3, single bond CH2, single bond CH2, and then there will be an X. So this molecule is different than the molecule if I attach a halogen atom in the second carbon. First carbon, second carbon, I'm removing a hydrogen and adding a halogen atom. So X, CH2, CH, CH2, CS3, and there will be CS3 here. We can do the same thing with the third carbon atom also. 
and again we'll be getting a different monohalo alkene ch3 ch single bond ch2 ch3 and ch3 so i will remove this hydrogen and add a halogen and then we can do the same thing with the fourth one this is for the third one for the fourth one also we will remove the hydrogen from there and we will add a halogen ch3 ch ch3 ch and ch3 and there will be a halogen atom so these are the four now the number of different carbon atoms you have that many monohalo alkenes are possible that many monohalo alkenes are possible is this clear isono please tell me yes then yes and so so these are the four possible monohalo alkenes that can be formed by ch3 ch2 ch ch3 twice ch and ch2 ch3 okay now I'll write one other question identify the hab identify hydrocarbon having formula c5h12 which gives only one monochloro product c5 oh sorry c5 this is h12 not h2 my bad c5 h12 सबसे पहले C5H12. So whether this will be an alkene, cycloalkene, alkene or alkyne. पहले ये बताइए रिपोर्टन Z. Sir alkene. रिपोर्ट व्हाट डू यू थिंक? is referred um. okay see if you have if there is an alkene alkene has a formula cn h but i refer 2n plus 2 do you know this yes or no please tell me yes I refer what about you do you know this yes. alkene has a formula that is cn h 2n plus 2 okay now cycloalkene has a formula that is cn h 2n Alkene also has a formula that is Cn H two N. Yes or no? Yes. What about alkyne? Tell me that. Cn so Cn H two uh, N minus one. Two. Alkyne. Uh, so Cn H two N. H two plus N. Cn H two H two N minus one. Take example. Let's figure it out now. Yes. आपको नहीं याद रिपत नहीं सी एन एस्टून तो एल्किन के लिए दोनों के सेम कैसे हो जाएगा सर सी एन एच टू एन माइनस टू 
two n minus two. Very good. See, this is C n h two n minus two. Now, if you see this formula and you compare this, so if you tell me, which one is right? Better? N is equal to five here, right? N is equal to five, and so hydrogen. Look at the hydrogen. Is it alkene? Alkene formula is better. Cycloalkene, alkene, or alkyne? Yes, Ripat. Compare and tell me. Alkene. Alkene, right? So one thing we have got that this is going to be our alkene C five H twelve. The formula is saying what? C five. H twelve is an alkene. Now, when it is an alkene, you can have either a normal alkene. That means you will have two, three, four, and five like this, or else you can have one, two, three, four. There will be a carbon here. So both of these formulas: see one, two, three, four, five, C five, H twelve. Here also one, two, three, four, five, C five, H twelve. So all of these are position isomers, and the last <coughs> isomer that you can have is you can have three carbons like this. One carbon will be here, the other carbon will be down here. Okay. So now you have how many carbon atoms here? Also you have C five H twelve. Can you see four in the corners, and then you have in the middle one carbon atom? Is this clear? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Refer to that. Refer. Can you see that you can have only three isomers of C five H twelve? Nay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Fine. अब ये बताइए. If I react this with Cl2, the presence of H nu, how many products it will get? How many monohaloalkenes? That means you have to identify the number of different carbon atoms. यहाँ पे बताइएगा and then you will tell for here. How many different carbon atoms are there? Should I write it in expanded form? एक काम करते हैं. Let me write it in expanded form. Then it will be easier for you guys. So for first it will be uh, two. Write in chat, chat, chat. CH three, CH two, CH two, CH two, CH three. So what is your question? Do you understand this question that we did earlier? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. So when we are identifying monohalo alkenes, that means whenever we have an alkene, there are possibilities that we can have multiple monohalo alkenes, right? For example, in this case, we had how many monohalo alkenes? There were there were four possible monohalo alkenes. Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Okay, four possible. Then when I look at this one, propane. Then how many monohalo alkenes were possible? Two. Two, right? Similarly, they are saying that we have a hydrocarbon whose formula is C five H twelve. Its formula is C five H twelve. You have to identify an isomer of C five H twelve, which gives only one monochloro product. That means monohalo alkene. It gives only one monohalo halo alkene. Clear? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Okay, so now you will have to identify how many monohalo alkenes are possible from the first structure, from the second structure, and from the third structure. Seven. <coughs> hmm. Correct. Yes, Rifat. For the first one, first one, tell me. Sorry. One minute. One minute. Okay. See how you have to start. You have to start with this carbon atom. Okay. You will see that. Okay, fine. This is CST. Is there any other CST? Yeah. This is CST. Are these two CST same? You have to answer yes or no. If yes. they are same, they are same. That means you have to just take one CSP and this CSP will give a monohalo alkene, and if you even attach the halogen atom in the other CSP, then also it will be giving the same monohalo alkene. Okay, now you have to ask 
there is a CH2 here. There is a CH2 here. This, there is a CH2 here. Are all of these same? Yes or no? Tell me. Are all of these same? Yes. yes. All of them are same. Tell me mm. about this CH3. Tell me about this CH2. It is connected to which carbon atoms? CH3 and and CH2, right? Yes. Okay. And this CH2 is connected to CH2 and CH2. So these two are different, right? Yes or no? Yes. Anna. So as you can see, we have five carbon atoms here. One, two, three, four, and five. In which we have five and one which are same. Second and fourth which are same. That means three, four, five. These are different. And our one, two, three. These are different. That means how many monohaloalkanes product will be formed? Tell me. Three. Monochloro product you can write. Okay, what about the second one? Four. Okay, so this CS3, this CH, this CH2, and this CS3. Correct, four. What about the last one? B B ka to four hoga na? Huh. Huh? Z? Uh, yes, yes. Huh? Huh. Is me up the key. All of these CSTs are same. And we need at least one hydrogen atom in order to carry out monochloro, in order to carry, carry out what? Free radical halogenation. That is why all of these four CSTs are same. That is why we will only get one monochloro product. Okay, this is what this is neopentane. Then all of you, yes or no, please tell me. Yeah. Is everyone done? Rifat and Sad? Done. Done? Yes. Okay, fine. Sorry. So in the next class, we will learn about from alkenes and then in alkenes we'll see two reactions and after that we will be doing halogen exchange reaction for the preparation of haloalkenes okay and at, at last we'll be doing the preparation of haloarenes in which we will see from <coughs> simple hydrocarbons which are uh, in which we do bromination and those are what those are electrophilic substitution reaction after that we will look at the sandmeyer reaction then we will do some questions okay then we'll do some questions is this clear yes or no please tell me yes, yes. Okay.